Okay, so in this video, I'm going to solve these three equations right here. So what's a little different about these ones is that we have uh, equations that have fractions in them. All right, so how do we go about combining these fractions in such a way that we can solve them? That's our problem. So uh, our first problem, we think we've one at a time. Our first problem is two all over x minus two plus three is equal to 1 over x. So we're looking for the, the, the value of x or the values of x that will satisfy that equation. All right, so let's get started. I have 2 all over x minus 2 plus 3 is equal to 1 all over x. All right, I have two quantities here on the left-hand side, and I want to bring these two together. So I want to find, as it were, a common denominator between this term and this term, 3. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write this 3 as 3 all over 1, so that I have here a fraction plus here, what looks more like a fraction. And I want to find that the common denominator between x minus 2 and 1. The common denominator between x minus 2 and 1 is simply x minus 2. Simply x minus 2. x minus 2 goes into x minus 2 once. 1 times 2 is 2. So I have here a 2. I bring down a plus. 1 goes into x minus 2, to, in x minus 2, x minus 2 times. 1 goes into 3, 3 times. 1 goes into 10, 10 times. 1 goes into minus 5, minus 5 times. Well, 1 will go into x minus 2, x minus 2 times. So x minus 2 times 3 is my second term. That's 3 times x minus 2. I'll distribute that out in just a moment. And I still have over, have over here a 1 over x. Okay? Uh, I will tidy up upstairs here. That will give me 2 plus, distributing in my 3, I have 3x minus 6 all over x minus 2 is equal to 1 over x. Then finally combining this, I have 3x. That gives me 3x. 2 minus 6 is minus 4, all over x minus 2, and that is equal to 1 all over x. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to cross multiply. So I'm going to cross multiply these, this term times by this term, this term times this term. That will give me 1 times x minus 2, which is simply x minus 2, 1 times x minus 2, is equal to x times 3x minus 4 x times 3x minus 4. All right, I'm making progress. I have x minus 2 is equal to, if I distribute in my x here, I get 3x squared minus 4x. I will now gather all my terms together. I'll bring my x and my minus 2 to the other side. That will give me 3x squared minus 4x, minus x, subtract an x, and then add 2, plus 2 is equal to 0. So I brought my x minus 2 to the other side. Combining these two terms, that gives me 3x squared minus 5x plus 2 is equal to 0. And I have a quadratic trinomial, and now I have to, I have the task of factorizing this quadratic trinomial. So, Try that. 3x squared. Well, I'll try 3x and x. I have here a plus, so that tells me that my sign will either be plus, plus, or minus, minus. Because I have here a minus, it tells me that it will be minus, minus. And I have the factors of 2, some to negative 5. Well, let me try here then a uh, 2, and here a 1. Minus 2 times minus 1 is plus 2, and minus 2x minus 3x is minus 5x. So I have factored it correctly. So I have then that 3x minus 2 is equal to 0, or x minus 1 is equal to 0. Take these one at a time, two solutions. 3x minus 2 is equal to 0. This will give me that 3x is equal to 2. 
I'm in two to both sides, and then dividing uh, both sides by three, I find that x is equal to two all over three. That's one solution right there. Solving this one, now I solve this one. X minus one is equal to zero. Well, then x is equal to one, and that is my other solution. And so I have found the two solutions that I'm looking for. These two values of x satisfy this equation up here. Okay, that's one done. As we will see, all these questions follow a similar pattern. So I have here, let me make question number two, two all over x minus one, two all over x minus one, plus three all over x minus three is equal to two. Again, when I see something like this, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try to bring these two terms here together. In fact, I'm going to do that. So the common denominator of x minus 1 and x minus 3 will be their product, x minus 1 times x minus 3. x minus 1 goes into x minus 1 times x minus 3, x minus 3 times. So I have x minus 3 times 2. So that will give me 2 times x minus 3 plus x minus 3 will go into x minus 1, x minus 3, x minus 1 times. So I have 3 times x minus 1. It's 3 times x minus 1. And that's all equal to 2. Tidying up upstairs on the left hand side, I'll distribute in my 2 and I'll distribute in my 3. That will give me 2x minus 6 plus 3x minus 3. Downstairs, I have x times x. I'll also I'll foil this out right here. x times x will give me x squared. x times negative 3 will be minus 3x, minus x, and then plus 3. This is all equal to 2. And finally, gathering up my like terms, 2x plus 3x is 5x. Minus 6 minus 3 is minus 9, all over x squared. Minus 3x minus x is minus 4x plus 3. And that's all equal to 2. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cross multiply these again. I'll consider this, this, I'll write this as 2 over 1, and I will simply cross multiply them. That will give me 2, 2 times x squared minus 4x plus 3. X squared minus 4x plus 3 is equal to, 2 times that is equal to 1 times 5x minus 9. That's simply 5x minus 9. And now I can distribute in my 2, each of my terms here. That will give me 2x squared minus 8x plus 6 is equal to 5x minus 9. I will bring my 5x to the other side and my negative 9 to the other side. So I will have 2x squared minus 8x plus 6 minus 5x plus 9 is equal to 0. I'm gathering up my terms. I have 2x squared minus 8x minus 5x is minus 13x. 6 plus 9 is 15 is equal to 0. And again, I have it has all worked out to be a quadratic trinomial. I'm going to factor my quadratic trinomial. Try the usual way. 2x squared will give me 2x and x. And I have here a plus and here a minus. That tells me that it's going to be here minus and minus. Minus, minus. Factors of 15 are 15 and 1, 3 and 5 I could try. I think 3 and 5 may work for me. Let me put here a 3. And here are 5. Negative 3 times negative 5 is plus 15. So I have negative 3x minus 5 times 2 is negative 10x. Negative 3x, negative 10x is minus 13x. So it is correctly factored. And so I have then that my solutions are 2x minus 3 is equal to 0. That would give me that as 2x is equal to 3. And therefore that x is equal to 
3 divided by 2. That's one solution. x equals 3 over 2, 1 and a half. Or x minus 5 is equal to 0. In which case, x is equal to 5. And those are my two solutions. This question was very similar, as you see, to the previous problem. Okay, last one. Last problem. We have 3x plus 3. All over x minus 1 is equal to 1 over x plus 1. Okay, so it's written a little bit differently this time, even though the idea is largely the same. I'm going to bring these two together. I could bring my 1 over x to this side and make it my negative 1 over x if I like, and then I can combine, the, combine it with this term. But I think it's easier to just combine these two right here. And so, my left hand side will remain the same. 3x plus 3 all over x minus 1 is equal to. A common denominator of 1 over x and 1 will be x. x. If you like, you can think about this as 1 over 1. Maybe it's a little easier to think of it in terms of a fraction. So x goes into x once. 1 times 1 is 1. I have a plus. 1 goes into x x times. x times 1 is x. So I have 1 over x plus 1 is really just 1 plus x all over x. Uh, I can now cross multiply them. I have a fraction, two fractions separated by an equal sign. I can then just cross multiply them. I will get x times 3x plus 3 is equal to x minus 1 times x plus 1. Distributing out this, I would get 3x squared plus uh, 3x is equal to, notice that, I notice that this is simply the difference of two squares. These are the factors of the difference of two squares. If you like, if you were to FOIL this out, you will get x squared plus x minus x minus 1. My plus x and my minus x will cancel. And so, bringing everything just to the left-hand side, like I said, these two terms will actually cancel. I will have 3x squared plus 3x minus x squared plus 1 is equal to 0. 3x squared minus uh, x squared is 2x squared plus 3x plus 1. And so, quadratic trinomial, let's factorize it. Two x squared. Well, that would give me two x and x. Uh, I have here a plus and here a plus, so I know that my signs will be plus and plus. And of course, it's one, so the factor must be one. And one. I can just check it. X plus two x. That is three x. And so these are indeed my factors: two x plus one and x plus one. Solving these, solving them, then I get that two x plus one is equal to zero. In which case, 2x is equal to negative 1. In which case, x is equal to negative 1 over 2, dividing both sides by 2. And, or x plus 1 is equal to 0. In which case, x is equal to negative 1. That's one solution. x equal to negative half is my other solution. And that is the problem complete.